to order. Are we recording? Yes. Ready? Okay. Any minutes for anything to approve? No. I wasn't here to last. I don't think. Was okay. I? Well, when was the last meeting? Uh, Six three minutes of five twenty nine. Five twenty nine. Was I there? Probably. If I right. was, I sent them to everybody a okay. long time ago. Oh yeah, probably did. Been so Very long. Crap. Well, we'll worry about that next time. Um, the select the select board uh, took our recommendation on six three, as far as the OPM of ranking the uh, three candidates one two and three, and they approved us approved it. Um, Carolyn then contacted Colliers and their proposal, and they sent them a quote, and the quote came in well significantly higher than we thought it was going to be. And when Carolyn and myself and Tom kind of looked at different things, like what are our options? And we could go to number two, because we did rank them one, two, and three. So we could go to number two and get a, get a, get see what their quote would be. Now, a little bit on, on Collier's. They based all of their prices on a percentage of the total project, which I think we all expected that they were going to take and say, okay, to do this work is going to cost this much based on like an hourly, you know, like a, a quote, as opposed to everything was based on a percentage of the total project based on $28 million or whatever we had. And it came in a lot higher than we thought. What's a lot higher than we thought? Mm -hmm. Over a hundred thousand. So we what, what did we have to so that's what that that's that's what I'm getting to. Okay. So I believe we could go to number two and to number three, because that was the way we ranked them, but we didn't feel comfortable, Carolyn and myself, going to number two and three without bringing it to this meeting and getting your opinion. Um are they going to be less? Are they going to be the same? We don't know. We also did some heavy duty research. I do mean heavy duty. And we talked to town council. Um, and for the schematic design phase, we found out that we don't need to go to a OPM like we thought we did. If the I'll, I'll, I'm going to quote you so that I don't misstate this. Um, this is by this is under Mass General Laws, so this is not something that uh, um, you know we're we're not. In addition, the OPM, if you don't go to a formal contract OPM company, must be a registered architect or professional engineer with at least five years' experience in building construction supervision. So I'm not going to, I want to, I want to mention a few things. We have a registered car architect. No, no, I'm sorry. You're, you're a surveyor. 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 We don't have a registered engineer or architect on the committee. Um, or possess at least seven years of experience in building. Okay. Registered architect or professional engineer with at least five years experience in building construction and, and supervision or possess at least seven years experience in building construction and supervision. You may assign an existing employee to serve as an OPM if that employee meets or exceeds these requirements and has building construction and supervision experience related to project of similar size and scope or complexity as a project to which the employee will be assigned. And I believe there's at least several of us on this committee that qualify for that. Question is, we now need to look at and discuss a lot of this, which is our best option? Um, should we go forward with talking to number two and number three? Or we could go to um, go, go to this op op one, uh, an employee who, and use them at the OPM. Um, the people that are qualified for this, it does say going to be an employee of town. I think I know Tom would qualify. Scott, I think, would qualify. Gary might qualify. I would qualify. Um, Rick would qualify, but you're not an employee. I'm on the fire department. Oh, you are? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so you qualify. 
Randy might qualify. I'm not an employee. You're a select board. You get paid for you get paid on the board of selectmen, or you don't. No. Okay. Um, Jim, can I just go to number two and have building construction and supervision related to projects that are similar in size and complexity? That was the first thing I thought of. Mm -hmm. Size, right? That's. Yep. Okay. So we have experience here for that set. I have. In my prior jobs, I have managed two projects. One was a ten million dollar expansion of an of a building, build a building and put the equipment inside of it, similar to what we want to do. Actually, the building would be, well, it was a. I don't think how big the expansion of the building was, but it was a building expansion, brand, and, and adding on to an existing building, reinforcing engineer and stuff like that. The other projects that I've done, I actually have to do the engineering and the construction, the supervision of construction. So relatively speaking, based on, um, you know, I was a project engineer for 35 years doing construction work and everything like that. So I would think I would qualify. Now, I'm not saying I should do this or I would, I'm just saying I, I remotely qualify. I have, would have no intention of, of doing this myself. This would be a joint effort with everybody. I would sign my name to the dotted line, if you would, but we could jointly would do the appropriate work. Okay, I'm not a one-man show, don't want to be, don't intend to be. But as far as signing the name to the dotted line, I would be willing to do that. Um, expenses covered, just whatever you know, the expenses are going to be minor advertising, probably some postage. I can't imagine being more than that, but I don't know. Um, so, uh, you know, Rick, have you done big projects like this? Not to that magnitude, uh, some commercial, but not mostly residential. Okay. So, anyways, um, we, those are basically our two options. Go to number two and or number three. And maybe go to number two and number three and see what they have for prices. And if they're out of range again, then we go to the option of the OPM as an employee. Something to be discussed amongst us. Um, so their money was over the full thing. That money was supposed to be also to get an engineer up, right? Sign this. The, the 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 quote was to hire an OPM and get this get an architect hire an architect for wow. schematic design. Yes. So we whoever does this or sets this up as an OPM start with is going to have to get and then an architect to design this. Yeah, that would that, the main job of the OPM is to supervise the because we have to hire. The hiring, yeah. I mean, there's a committee that'll do the hiring, but the OPM to recommend, you know. So, so you're saying, let's say you're the guy with the committee. Yes. And we're going to go and research a architect and hire him. We, you, you would advertise for an architect. Okay. Just like I believe we advertise for an architect. Is that correct, Rob? Carolyn. You have to advertise. Yeah, we have to advertise for an architect, just like we did for the OPM. Interview them, check references, and if you had an OPM like just use Collier's, they would make some recommendations as opposed to well, based on this and this. Well, I'll be honest. To hire an architect for the supervision to, for for anything, you check the references, and they're going to give you references. You check them, and you know we know enough people in the area, and most architects that do this kind of stuff aren't fly by night. They're either going to have like our three OPMs we narrow down to, a good reputation or, well, you know, they're a little bit shaky. So, and then you make a decision. Okay, so then we would take part of that 275000 to pay for 225. 225 to pay for them. Yes. Okay. And, and then you're also going to do some you probably need to do some soil borings to make sure where the building's going to go can support the building and yeah. different things like but that. But the architect is going to be all this, that part or no? Or is that on you? That would be the architect. I would think the architect definitely would be involved because the architect would kind of take 
the responsibility of designing and, and organizing that? somebody to come in and do that kind of stuff. We would, the, the OPM or the committee wouldn't go here to do this and here to go this. You want to kind of get a, a cohesive central person, which would be the architect, yeah. to coordinate everything and get the right stuff done. And, and that that's good because, you know, we can screw up yeah. big time yeah. by starting yeah. saying, oh, we're going to board here. Yeah. You know? yeah. So, you know, we we know something, but we don't probably know enough. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. That, and that is the architect's job to say, well, you they, maybe they wouldn't hire the person, the company, but I would think they would because if we hired them directly, you got to, it, it gets into a, a bidding nightmare whereas if you go contract with a architect you know, this is your this is part of your responsibility and they would they probably have routine people they go to or companies right because uh, you know we're, we're here to protect the town and now that things came in a little bit we don't want to we can end up losing money on the deal yeah more so if we do it incorrectly yeah so you know i i'm open to Either way, I got a, a feeling which way right now, but um, you know, we got to make sure that we're, you know, we don't want I mean, to have this now was so far off. We hired it, it wasn't like we sat around and came up with this thing. Yeah, I, I, I'm guessing because I'm, I'm going to guess here that they expected somebody to say, Well, it's going to cost this much money to do the schematic, and they're going to they're going to kind of look at the job and quote the job as a by pieces. In other words, this will cost this, this will cost this, this will cost this. And what Colliers came back with was a percentage. The architect is going to cost, look at it, it's going to cost this percentage of the total, and the old team is going to be a percentage of the total are going to be this. And of course, then you got the little nickels and dimes with the suit, the borings and stuff like that. And the prices that they gave for borings and things like that didn't seem to be too much out of place. But the two prices for the the percentages were extremely high. The I forget the exact number. But, but the thing is, we don't really know what we're building it, so how can they give a percentage? Well, that they based it on the twenty-eight million dollars that we gave them for a price. Uh, yeah, I know, but how do we know that's going to be? Yeah. It could be yeah. higher or lower. Well, right. right. But th th that's going by what that, we that's told where I'm coming yeah. from here. Is that so? Is is it appropriate to shop the other two? Candidates, I've I've never been through this process before, so I mean, would that, pick... would, that would be my record. Yeah, you can't shop the two. You can go to your next highest, yeah. highest score. Yeah, go to your next. So you go to number two, just like we did to number one. Okay. This is what we want to do. We and number two has already called me and knew that they weren't selected as number one, and they asked me, "Can you tell us why we weren't selected as number one?" And I said, "It's too premature to say that you weren't." Selected yet? We're still in negotiations. Okay, they were good with that, and said thank you for your input, okay. and they dropped it. Okay. Well, I think it would make sense to go to number two. There's a we have a very intelligent group here that knows a lot about building and whatnot. But I see a project like we're proposing. A lot of it's going to be complex stuff that we have no idea about, and we. We don't want to be the ones to be making the bad decisions. We want somebody else to do that for yeah. us. Now, as, as far as one of us being the OPM, this is only for the schematic design. There is no way right. I would put my name on a dotted right. line to watch the building being built. That's just no, no not I, when I, I have it. I agree with Randy that yes. we should go to number two, and if if we have to, we go to number three, and then. We come back to this committee and say, do we want to try to? I think you're going to find out if you go to number two and they come up with the same number, then probably yeah. Well, there's got to be an industry standard for percent. That's just like a real lot of right. A lot of times right. they're got to be within do. a percent yeah. or two. Otherwise, yeah. someone's going to be out of business. Yeah, right. the other one. Right. Yeah. But nevertheless, <clears throat> I agree with Randy. We talk to two, talk to two, and see what see what we get. Yeah, and talk to three. We it was just, it's it's. I look at it like an insurance policy on the town, right? To have someone represent us, yeah. You know, it's it's a percentage of a project that's huge, and it could be the, the lifesaver at the yes. end of the day. Well, I, yeah, yeah. And if they keep going by percentages of the twenty four or twenty eight million, then maybe we go the route where 
you handle it with a committee and we get down to what we all agree that should be built for whatever that price is, then we can get a real percentage cost of OPM or just a bottom line figure or whatever. Yeah. You know? So I, I, I do need to clarify uh, part of the OPM um, after talking with our, our town council. So when you hire OPM, it is typically for the whole project. Mm -hmm. You can't portion it out, and, and I'll read what the attorney said. Um, uh, generally, OPM services cannot be bid out for portions of a project. Since by statute, the OPM has a set of required duties and responsibilities that extend beyond the schematic design phase of a project. However, the town could still contract with this firm for OPM services. We would recommend breaking down the work into its component parts, schematic design, preliminary design, construction phase, et cetera, in the contract schedule, which is, I think, what they did, but in a different way. And that's where I think some of the discrepancies come in with, 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 with what their proposal is. Specifically, the town needs a clear fee proposal from the OPM broken down in segments, again, schematic design, preliminary design, construction phase, et cetera. The email that has been provided estimate from OPM does not serve that purpose and has no backup about the OPM fee. So that's something that we need to be specific about as well. And I did have a conversation with um, the first, cho first choice OPM, but they were pretty set on this is how they were, they were presenting that proposal. So we, we have to be clear, we can't portion it out, mm -hmm. but we can get their whole, you know, th this proposal that they give us should be just the cost of where it's going to be, knowing that the OPM we choose is for the whole project. So as far as having the OPM do have a, a, an employee just do this portion of it, um, you're having that OPM pick the, the, uh, the architect, which is my only concern is because an architect who's we would hire out with, um, it may be different if we hire them directly or if the OPM has the oversight, which is what their job is over the architect. I mean, the problem is they based it on $28 million is to build the building. We're only bidding out right now because we don't, we got to come up with the money for the design phase. That's what this, right. this project is. Right. Right. If it comes in too high or doesn't get voted on, that $28 million is not going to happen. Yeah. Right. yeah, they did a percentage so it's not the total cost of what it would be for the whole project. Right. They just did it in their own percentage, and they did have different phases in their proposals that really didn't kind of match up to what. So they're a hundred thousand over just to pick the design phase. Yes, yes. yes. just just in the schematic design phase. Yes. yes, and I don't think it's appropriate to do base your fee on a percentage for the start of a project like this because as everybody's saying we have no idea it what this be, thing's yeah. going to cost right. they should be able to say it's going to take us this much time to do this we charge this much an hour mm -hmm. this is what we're going to charge you yeah put in put in some budget factor in there and exactly that that, that kind of what we all that's that's what i expect that the these these mm -hmm. prices would come in at and when they say they based it on a percentage of twenty-eight million, I said, "Well, I'm thinking to myself, what if the project is twenty million? What if it doesn't happen? Yeah, we're paying for something, a portion that's not even going to be done, right? You know, right? So, so Carolyn, um, if we did the uh, OPM for schematic design here, then would you have to um, rebid for OPM?" From that point on? No, because the OPM at that point is bidding for the architect, and the next phase is for the um, construction. And that's so that's what she was pointing out, is that OPM should is hired to cover the whole thing. Because you don't want an OPM, a new OPM coming in, in the construction part of it and saying, well, I don't know why you picked that architect. I wouldn't have picked him. Well, so there's a, we, we would be the OPM for that first section. That's the, I'm talking about the uh, the design section which is the second part so it, can we do what we're, if if we get to the point where we're not happy with anybody anybody's proposal can we do what jimmy was talking about and act the the committee through jim act as the opm for the schematic and then hire a quote unquote real opm <laughs> <laughs> for the rest of the project. Well, if the sure. project goes through. Right, if the project goes through. Right. right. But is is can we do that? Or are you saying, Carolyn, that 
we have to have from the get-go one OPM. That is the impression from a conversation I had with Lisa without asking that specifically. Um, and then what is written here? Because we're it, sound, it sounds like, looks like there's no money right. and there's no project to build the whole thing. Right. We're only looking for schematic design. Right. It says OPM services cannot be bid out for portions of a project since by statute the OPM has a set of required duties and responsibilities that extend beyond the schematic design phase of a project, and that's Master General Law 149. That's that. But does, doesn't that kind of contradict what Jim was reading? Yeah, we could. Mm. Well, maybe what that says, David, is that if we start, we have we to finish. Stay with them. Yeah. Yeah. They, they do the and whole if that's the right. case, so that's then yeah. I'm running. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, not we, uh, I'm not in favor of that. I was, no. no. Can we get no. clarification on that? I think that's what she's saying. But yes, I will definitely. Um, yeah. Yep. Yeah, so we act as OPM yeah. if I mean, we get that far. We act the OPM just for the schematics. Right. No, that's the only project we have right now. The rest of it's no. maybe, maybe not. Right. So in the interim, do we need to vote to go to? Well, I, I, I want to make some choice. I, 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 yes, just a second. Now, thinking a little bit strange here, could we hire the OPM with the understanding that they would, except for reviewing the architect that we choose, they wouldn't be that much involved, except We would act as the OPM for a lot of the schematic design phase with some basic input from the from the OPM that we would hire, because the higher boots I'm looking at going through the whole project like this. And they would have, okay, the architect, you know, reviewing the review the architects that we've gone that we talked to. And your input will be minimal for this schematic design phase, except to review the architects. We would act as basic OPM for a lot of the stuff that we're doing. And once we get the schematic design, you would kick in full time and we would no longer play part OPM anymore. You know, Salem, did I make myself clear enough? Yeah, but I would let the rest of the committee have input on that. We'd have to what? I would like to hear other input before I answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I mean, I think that's what we're all talking about here is that we would play OPM for the basic schematic design. Once we've got a schematic design and a price, okay, that's it. Now we go to town meeting with a price, gets approved. Well, you're, and they you're take, almost talking like an hourly rate for them to <clears throat> help us with schematic design. Basically, we basically play a consultant for just, just a, a parts of little, little bits and pieces. Because we went out to bid for schematic design. We didn't go out for the whole project. Yeah. I mean, they, they're they're assuming the whole project's going to go through and basing their stuff on that. Well, it, they're going, you know, they're looking ahead at money that's being spent that's not in this part of the budget. What well, the hundred the money that the Colliers has quoted is just to do the schematic design. Right. I mean yeah. that doesn't mean so, anything for us. But, but it's a but it was a big percentage of it was a percentage of the entire project. So I would propose that we go to, to choice number two right now. Decide, make that decision, and then if that Come doesn't back. work out, then we have this we'll continue this discussion right. because okay. this I see it, it's going to get. I'll, I'll um, second that motion. Yeah. It, 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 yeah, so it's going to get very complicated. Yeah, yeah. Because remember, they're also going to be subcontracting out in a sense to who's going to do their geo formal thing. Well, right. Who's going to do? Right. We don't want to be. I'm. Not, I don't have that living with to be going out to bid all that or the. Right. So you that's what you want the architect right. or the OPM to, to yeah, oversee. And Jimmy did make mention of that, that that would be ugly. That whole process would not yeah. be good. Yeah, that was so, yeah, that that's something that the architect I was well. The architect and primarily the yes, okay. And my, I agree with what you just said. I think okay. a turn off for the architect to, you know, if we're representing the, the OPM, right. they might be like Yeah, when I say I don't want to deal with back. a oh, committee. Like, Right. That means once a month. And you're going to pay them a little bit, you might just go back to the Exactly. Yeah. 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 You got one step that's backward. Yeah. It's Actually, um, I know it's kind of changed in direction. It's a bit extreme here because we asked the first group, well, this based on the total project. 
And like Gary says, we only we don't have a total. We don't project. have a total project. This we is our project. The design phase, right. and we so we need to get somebody that understands that mm -hmm. and is willing to price their work accordingly. Well, Carolyn, we'll, we'll go back to you now. Now that we already talked to number one, we we'll go to number two and say, look, we don't want the whole project percentage. We only want it on this section. Yeah, you got to go back and re-advertise. No, no. The, the, would the, even the, the we want a the Collier's quoted a percentage based on of the two main fees, architect and OPM, on a twenty eight million dollars. Right. And I understand what you're saying that we don't know what it's going to cost. That's a valid point. And when we talk to number two, we tell them that we don't know what we're going to need. Based, but you know they they've got a basic idea based on what was in the. Uh, Proposal. Which we have to, by law, provide. We have to provide that we we estimated twenty four million. We have to provide that because that is what they're looking down the road. Yeah. So, I think what what I would recommend, and this is just hashing this out the last two hours or so, is go to the second, and then if it still comes back over with some similar kind of a disconnect to what we were hoping in the scope of work and what they were giving us, I would advise that you look at that scope of work. If you look at it, it's it's for the whole project. We do have a paragraph in there, this is just for schematic designs, but I think we, we may want to be more specific because we want to be clear with everybody who proposed that, that all the information they get is consistent. And that I think the safest thing is if, if it is significantly over and even isn't clear about how there's the next one is uh, doing their their quote. I think I would recommend that we go out to bid again and just look everybody look at that scope of work and see where we can make it more specific to a schematic right. design. Because I took took a look at it. It is for the whole project. Okay. All right. Yeah. The only thing I would throw out on that is. If we're going to rebid, we should talk to the third company before yeah. we go out. Yeah. I, I would be in favor of talking to all three before we right. because simply we, eliminate number three because that was we may find out number three. The first two companies, number one is now a big company because they bought somebody. Collier's is now almost as big as the company that we disregard as number four. They bought or they were bought, some, whatever it was, but they were now a big size company they, they have like a thousand sub plus employees where before they had a couple hundred number two is still medium size number three is almost mom and pop right and when we find mom and pop might be a completely different category so i would i would talk but let's go to number two see what number two does we can come back and meet again and then make a decision whether or not we go to three so I mean, my theory is, my yeah. thing is, if they're, I mean, see, they were over a hundred. Even if you come in at even or a little below, you don't have enough money to hire an architect. I think, yeah, you know, looks like we're going to be short all the way around, no yeah. matter how you cut it. Well, but that's why we want to talk to the, right. talk to them yeah, to see what we get and go forward because yeah. certainly yeah. want to go back to town meeting. Yeah, you know, granted, it wasn't our fault. It was what with numbers we were given, but there has not been a project in town that hasn't gone back for more money. And I don't want to go back for more money on this part, but we haven't even got the big <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, because the, the, then when we go back for the whole ball of wax, they're going to say, how much money are you going to be short and come back? Yeah. I don't want to do that. I don't know. Have we, have we ever done a project like this in town? Most of like the, all the other three that we just did was we got the ball of wax for the whole project and went ahead. I think the fire station was under, wasn't it? No, but I'm talking about we never went for schematic. Oh, yeah. yeah it's always no, like, that, that's because yeah. the price of this thing, that's why this is being done because the price is so high. We want to get a good estimate. Yeah. Yeah. So, yes, Jimmy, that might, that I make a motion right. to go to the second choice. Gary seconded it. Okay. We have a motion and a second to go to number two. All in favor of the motion? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Motion passes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven to zero. Motion passes. Carolyn, you will contact number two, CMS. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can, can we get copies of the uh, proposals that these companies are sending? Yes. 
Yeah. 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 They don't. Um, you've got them when they give them. Uh, so you, what you want is the proposal they send back right. the amount. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And I can give you the one for the first one too. Just it, it is uh, because we're still going through the process. Just it's not spread about. Yeah. Dude, so much happened today with paperwork that you didn't get a copy. I mean, I didn't even get a copy of it because Carolyn just got a copy, a reply from town council at like quarter or four. So. Yeah, we're not trying to shortchange anybody, but it just so much happened. I wanted mm -hmm. to, like, what's this? You, you're going to get things in pieces, and you're going to be totally more confused. Sure. Okay. Anything else? Um, I will. So once we get these in for this, this back from the uh, uh, number two, I'll let everybody know. We'll schedule another meeting and go from there. So, okay. how how long did it take last time for you guys to meet with them and? Uh, Get their response back. Or it was really, it was pretty quick. Yeah, they, they came back with something within like two weeks once they knew that they were chosen. Yeah, I think they had it within. So maybe can we um, get these meetings a little closer? Um, I know it's vacation time it's last time around, but there's a lot of time is going by since we interviewed these four four different companies. Okay, let's. Uh, we're can we can only go as fast as they'll go. Yeah. Well, I understand it, but we don't want to kind of kill another no. month before we talk. Right. Right. No. Whenever she they get them, right. get their button here, and, and they, they get, get back in two weeks. I mean, if, if they come back in two weeks, we could tentatively, tentatively two weeks be pushing to have a meeting. So we could tentatively schedule this for August 21st, which is, it's only three weeks into tonight. I don't know if we'll have anything. That's fine. You know, okay. but, um, at least if it was within that month, yeah, right. Right. for our next meeting, yeah. that you, two you months. seven twenty one or seven twenty eight, depending when we get something back. So as soon as you guys know, you'll send out something to the schedule. Okay. Yeah. I I think it'll come back much quicker than that. Okay. So should we do it the week before? And because you can always cancel the meeting, we we said it. Or just... Well, you, we only need it. Let's see, twenty forty eight hours. To oh, okay. So the policy I can publish so. quick. Seven twenty one is three weeks away. I would think that's probably the soonest we're going to be able to have anything. I mean, even if they come back in two weeks, that only gives us a, that'll, that'll just give us enough time to post them. Yeah. Okay. okay. I, I think if, if it's yeah, a part, Jim, if you're okay with this, if I get the proposal back and I know we're way off, then I'll call and set up another meeting. Okay. So, um, okay. Then if the proposal is way off, on number two. Should we propose to schedule number three? Because why come back to another meeting? Just to yeah, know what we're going to do. Do we, want, maybe, do we want to make that, that? That's a good point. Yes. If, they, if number two comes back in their way out, do we want to just automatically go to number three? That's what I was going to give them a chance. Yeah, I'll second that. Is that a motion, sir? Yes, sir. Make a motion. <laughs> Mr. Sorry. Gary seconded it. Very good. Number one, number two is our next choice. If they're out of range or over budget, meals, at least they over budget, then we right away go to number three with the same thing. Okay. That way, hopefully, in a month, we know where right. we are. Yeah. Motion and a second for that option idea. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes seven to zero. Good. Great. Okay. That takes care of that. I think we're done here for today. Yes. I think we had enough. Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Meeting is Thank you. Thank you, Carolyn.